wait a second. Isn't that Sam Ingham's job? Like, what do Britney's privacy rights have to do with her money? Because Jamie's job, as far as I'm concerned, is like just to conserve Britney's estate. So this is what I looked at. This appointment of a lawyer for the conservative is on the California court's um, government website. And um, this website has this thing called like a conservator's, a conservator's handbook. That handbook kind of lays out like everything to expect if you are the conservator of someone's estate or if you are the conservator of someone's person in the state of California. This provision that you're looking at here comes from um, that handbook. So I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I do want to pay close attention to this first sentence. It says, conservatees, that's what Britney Spears is, conservatees have the right to be represented by a lawyer. For certain types of matters, the law requires the court appoint a lawyer, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so y'all can read this if you want. It's not that important. Um, let's see, the last, the last part here is, I want everyone to notice this. Okay, so it kind of talks about what happens if there's a dispute. And then it says, um, you know, sometimes there may be a disagreement. Um, if so, it may be possible to reach a compromise to settle the disagreement. We're here. If everyone involved fails to agree, a judge will have to decide. Okay, this is the part. Recommendations by court-appointed counsel for the conservatee, so that would be like Sam Ingham's recommendation for Brittany, um, are usually given great weight and consideration by the court. Okay? Um, that's kind of what I wanted y'all to see. Okay, that said the, the, the Court of California's website says that. Okay, I want to show one more thing. We're also on that same website, but a different page. And we have here the duties of a conservator. What are the duties of the conservator of a person according to the government website? It says to arrange for the conservatee's care and protection, decide where the conservatee will live, make arrangements um, for meals, health care, clothing, personal care, housekeeping, transportation, shelter, recreation, and well-being. But I don't see anything there about privacy rights or legal rights, right? Then what are the duties of conservator? Oh, and you have to get approval from the court for certain decisions about health and you have to report uh, on the current status of the conservatee. So nothing here about defending her personal privacy rights. All right, so let's go to what are the duties of the conservator of the state and that is what Jamie Spears is. Manage finances, locate and take control of all assets, collect the conservatee's income, make a budget, um, pay the bills that they have, uh, invest the money, protect the conservatee's assets, account to the court and the conservatee for the management of the conservatee's assets. But I still just like don't understand why or how, you know, pr protection of someone's legal, constitutional or privacy rights is implicated here, right? All right, let's see, do I have one more thing? Okay, yes, one more website and then we'll get to the document. So this is the California Rules of Court 20, updated in 2020. And what we have here is just kind of some definitions about what things are. If you look at appointed counsel, which is what Sam Ingham is, he says, um, I mean, it says, I'm sorry, it means an attorney appointed by the court under probate code, you know, 1470 or 1471, who assumes direct personal responsibility for representing a ward, that means conservatee, um, a conservatee or a proposed conservatee, okay? A person alleged to lack legal capacity in the proceeding, right? So that's just a definition. So, so, but what is the operation of the sentence? Assumes direct personal responsibility for representing the ward and the court, right? I'm like literally sitting in my bed. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, so now that we kind of have an understanding of what these people's jobs are, right? We know what Jody's job is. We know what Jamie's job is. Um, we know what Jody's job is. We know what Sam Ingham's job is. And, um, so we kind of have everyone's things laid out. So before, one second, y'all hold on one second. I'm going to text this person. They keep blowing my phone up and it's going to keep happening. One second. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lives are okay. <laughs> that is so annoying. I'm sorry. This person has literally called me four times since this live. Okay, we're back here. Oh, it's been a day. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we are um, about to go into the document. What we have um, figured out so far already is, you know, Jamie's job is not to protect Britney's legal rights. It's not to protect her legal interests. Okay, 
So let's get into this document. Whew, okay. Now, it is called a reply to conservatees' opposition to conservators' motion to seal. So um, what does that mean? A reply is something you can send. It's optional. You don't have to, but it's usually like in issues where there's a lot of drama going on. Um, and it's a reply to Brittany's opposition to um, Jamie's motion to seal. He wants to seal the record as it pertains to um, the appointment of Andrew Wallet or and or Bessemer Trust. If you want to see a live going over that one, um, you can see, you know, my last live in the series, How to Read a Court Document. Okay, so this is going to be still a pursuant uh, pertaining to that September 16th date. Uh, the introduction paragraph kind of just tell, or the paragraph before the introduction paragraph rather says, Jamie Spears um, replies to, you know, Brittany's motion, um, I mean, Brittany's opposition to our previous motion to seal, filed by Sam Ingham, whatever. Okay, so this is a reply to that. Here's our introduction. Anytime you see the word opposition, that <laughs> opposition is such a strong word because um, I just like imagine that they always have like been pretty like friendly. But anyway, so anytime you see the opposition, that means like Britney Spears and her lawyer. Okay, so well, really technically it means her lawyer, but it's her, right? So opposition means Britney and Sam Ingham. The opposition mischaracterizes what has transpired in this case as it relates to the prior motions to seal, requesting that certain information be sealed. Um, each of which, I guess this means like each mischaracterization has either, um, you know, he has each of which, hold on one second. Oh, prior motions to seal. Okay, come on brain. I should probably read it on the computer and not through my phone screen. I'm so stupid. Okay, so the, so let's start over. Sam Ingham mischaracterizes what has transpired in this case as it relates to prior motions to seal. So if y'all remember, he did talk about, you know, like, oh, you know, uh, the, the conservatorships like filed motions before and now we finally looked at them and like actually they like don't, their argument like doesn't actually hold up. So um, that's what he's talking about. So he, so these guys over here, this is Jamie's lawyer saying, no, 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 Sam Ingham really mischaracterized uh, what has happened in this case. And they're over here to tell us what really happened. Okay. Um, each of which, so let's see, so each motion, right, Ingham either supported or brought himself. And that includes his multiple requests over the last 12 years to close the courtroom. So what Jamie's lawyers are basically doing is going, um, you know what, Sam, you're full of shit. You're calling us out for things that you're doing. Like they're saying he has brought these motions to seal and he has even asked to clear the courtroom or close the courtroom. Okay. Um, but I, I will say like, if I'm making a counter argument to this, like if someone was like, okay, BJ, well, what is your argument to that? I would say, Sam's job is to protect Britney's best interest. It could be the case that it was in be Britney's best interest before now to seal these documents. And it could be the case that it is not in her best interest now to seal, um, to seal the documents, right? Something could have happened. We could be dealing with something different. But if you'll remember what Sam Ingham's arguments were from the last document, it was Britney's not trying to work anymore. We're shifting into a new phase of the conservatorship. She wants her records to be more open. She wants this decision of whether to appoint Bessemer or Andrew Wallet to be made in public, right? So essentially, it does look like, at least if Sam's telling the truth, he is looking out for her best interest. Okay. So Jamie's lawyers say here, as in prior motions to seal, uh, Jamie has requested only the minimum amount of confidential information to be sealed, consistent with the court rules and Miss Spears' constitutional rights to privacy. Okay, that makes my antenna go up because why on earth are Jamie Spears' lawyers arguing for Britney Spears' constitutional privacy rights? That is not their job, to my understanding. Their job is to worry about you know, what Bernie is doing with her money and making sure that their account reports are filed on time. I don't know what in the hell Gerald, Geraldine, and Jamie, the three musketeers over there, and probably Lou Taylor, she can be the horse or whatever. I don't know what in the hell they have to do with Britney's constitutional privacy, first of all. Second of all, 
Now they're worried about constitutional rights? Well, I have a few amendments racked up that they have participated in making sure that Britney's were violated. So if they want to worry about constitutional privacy rights, I can write them a memo myself. Okay. Anyway, contrary to the assertion, um, you know, of, of Sam and Brittany, that the motion to seal flatly assert. Okay, so y'all remember whenever Sam Ingham said, you know what, they don't even have, they like, they don't even have real legal backup for their case. Like I went and fact checked their cases. And in fact, none of that, none of those cases even apply here. And the one case that would apply actually rules against them. So, um, essentially they're saying like all that stuff that Sam said, you know, contrary to that, um, it is not, you know, virtually the entire petition was filed. Virtually the entire petition was filed without sealing. So they put in bold letters, and y'all know I always get excited if there's bold. Um, they're saying like pretty much the whole petition was filed without even sealing it. So we don't even know what Jane, what Sam and Brittany are making this big deal about. Like they're being dramatic is basically what they're saying. Like pretty much the whole thing we filed without sealing. Like we weren't trying to hide anything. Like leave us alone. That's what Jamie's lawyers are saying. The motion to seal, which was their original request to keep the, um, the, the information and the documents sealed, was filed, and they're going to give us two reasons. First, re- first reason, to protect the privacy rights of a third party, um, specifically the name and address of Lynn Spears, um, okay, uh, and to take the precautionary step to allow for Jody Montgomery, who's the temporary conservator, to assert Mrs. Spears' personal privacy rights. Okay, again, if you're like trying to learn how to read legal documents, then boom, 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 that is where your antenna should go up. Why is Jody Montgomery worried about Britney's personal privacy rights? I'm not going to go into the whole entire thing speech again because I just did it and y'all are sending laughing emojis about it. But the same reasons why, um, you know, Gerald and Geraldine or whatever their damn names are cannot cannot assert Britney's constitutional privacy rights that I just explained about Jamie Spears. That's the same reason that's going to apply to uh, Jody Montgomery. Jody Montgomery and Jamie, Jamie Spears are not, to my understanding, responsible for protecting Britney's legal rights at all. They are responsible for administering the estate and taking care of her. You know, Jody needs to be wiping the counters down, making sure Britney got groceries in the house. Like that's her job, not her constitutional privacy rights, to my understanding. Okay. To date, Jody has not opposed that motion to seal and has not informed Mr. Spears or his counsel that she will oppose it. Okay, that's great, but I don't know what that has to do with the cost of beans in China. This is not relevant. I don't give a shit that Jody did not oppose based on constitutional rights. Jody's responsibility, Jody's not a lawyer. If Jody were to try to assert Britney's constitutional privacy rights, she would be impersonating an attorney. She would be committing a crime. Like, this is not Jody's job. I don't know why they wasted Britney's money and their time on this petition. Okay. I'm like in a really bad mood. And honestly, I'm really getting a lot of my rage out. Like I'm not in a bad, bad mood. I just had a like stressful, tense day. And this is really fun to like get at them. Okay. Honestly, like I really don't know. I'm not like a real lawyer. So I could be wrong. But like I, I, this is, I mean, I went to Ivy League Law School and I'm studying for the bar. So like those are my credentials. This is not legal advice. Okay. To date, she has not opposed the motion. Okay. Despite the fact that the requested sealing is minimal, okay, so they're saying that their um, requested sealing is minimal, the opposition to, so, so this document they filed fails to distinguish between Brittany's privacy rights and those of her minor children, okay, whom the opposition does not mention at all. Okay, hold on just one second. I want y'all to look at something. I have that pulled up right here. Look, okay, just real quick. Uh, where are we at? Fails to distinguish, fails to make a difference between Brittany's privacy rights and those of her minor children. And again, I have no, oh, thanks, Lisa. (laughs) And again, her minor children's privacy rights, I don't think are the, don't think are the responsibility of Jamie Spears conservator lawyers. Just don't have anything to do with them. Okay. But let's just say it does. Brittany Spears privacy rights and her minor children whom the opposition does not mention at all. Well, I have that handy opposition just right here. And it just so happens it does mention the children not once, not twice, but three times. So this is, we're on the opposition now. I don't want to confuse y'all, but this is like super, 
um, sassy of us to do. Like, it's cool. Like, it's like, wow, I got you, you stupid bit. Like, okay. So this is the opposition. This is the document Brittany filed a few weeks ago or, or a few days ago. I don't even know. Um, September 3rd. Brittany filed this September 3rd. It's the sassy one we went over and where Sam took a writing lesson. In there, he's quoting their original motion to seal. And he says, you know, they're talking about private health information and minor children and client privilege and all this crap. And this is what Sam's has to say to that. So remember that document that they just said, they said, oh, they don't even mention the children. Okay, look what Sam has to say. There are no medical issues at all in a conservatorship of the estate, nor are her children involved in any way. So not only did, did Sam mention them, he mentioned them three times and he explicitly counter argued. He said, Her children are not involved in this conservatorship of the estate. It has nothing to do with them. So I think it's a bit dishonest that, you know, these guys are saying, oh, her children's privacy rights are implicated. Oh, and the opposition doesn't mention it. You dumb idiot. We can read. It's public document. This is why they don't want documents public. Because they're they're sloppy. Okay. We're never going to finish this. Okay. Um, So... Opposition, so Brittany and Sam, also improperly argue the merits of the underlying petition and the competing petition for appointment of conservator of a state. So what does that mean? Sorry, let me unhighlight this. Okay, we're here. This is where we are here. This basically means, oh yeah, and then we have these two, you know, petitions that are competing. You you know how Bessemer Trust and Andrew Wallet are kind of nominated for the same job right now? That's what this sentence says. It says, you know, Sam Ingham and Brittany are improperly arguing the merits of the underlying of of you know those two petitions like they're they're arguing they're kind of mischaracterizing or you know they're they're mistaken and their reason is you know um, they rely on allegations that are unsupported by any declaration or other admissible evidence okay such as what including that Brittany is adamantly opposed to the motion to seal so just to catch you up the the you know if you remember that opposition Brittany said she was adamantly opposed to sealing the records and she wants it to be more public right so they're saying um on their alleg- they rely on oh they're saying that that's an allegation okay <laughs> this is really funny this takes a lot of nerve okay basically the only person that is legally allowed or not the only person but like Yeah, probably, truly. The only person who we know for 100% fact has to be allowed alone time with Brittany is her lawyer because of the protected attorney-client privilege. So if anybody in the world knows what Brittany has to say in in an empty room, it is Sam Ingham. Whether we hate him or love him, he has the authority to be in a room alone with her. So him saying that Brittany is adamantly opposed to the motion to seal, they're calling that an allegation why like how could the opposition relies on an allegation and what's the allegation that Brittany is adamantly opposed to the motion to seal that's not an allegation baby that's a that's a statement from her what are you talking about allegation that miss spears is adamantly opposed to them i'm really dumbfounded right now (laughs) these idiots the opposition improperly rely, uh, improperly argues the merits of the underlying petition. Why? Why are they improperly arguing the merits? Because they rely on a weird allegation. What's that weird allegation? A direct quote from his client. I'm going to just be silent for like five seconds. That, I can't deal with these people. I cannot imagine writing this, submitting it to any court for any reason, but is wait is Brittany the side is Ryan here they might not have a lot okay Ryan I'm about to quote Ryan uh who's Brittany the Sagittarius they might not have a lot left after this petition is all said and done but we know for sure they definitely have one thing and that is audacity (laughs) the audacity knowing the whole world is going to read this and you know what TMZ is so irresponsible for reporting on this how they did oh my god honestly okay let's move on i'm sorry y'all okay i'm reading y'all's comments (laughs) yes i'm so glad y'all are mad okay okay additionally 
Brittany and Sam argue that sealing is improper because probate proceedings are presumptively open to the public. Oh, I'm sorry. I moved. Okay. Here we are. Additionally, okay. And that is true. And Sam used law and he used constitutional and legal um, and precedential um, decisions and laws and statutes. And he did. He said probate proceedings are presumptively open to the public. And the reason for that under the law is because um, the public has an interest in what happens in our establishments, in our in our government, right? We pay their taxes, we pay their salaries, and we could end up in those systems one day. And we have a right not only to, to sort of um, view and, and spectate in these governmental entities, but we have the right and almost like a duty to scrutinize these entities. So that was Sam's argument. That was his logic. And that was his legal reasoning. So these guys are saying, you know, Sam argues that probate proceedings are presumptively open to the public. And he did use legal reasoning for that. This argument is somewhat surprising as it conflates a probate proceeding with a conservatorship, which addressed the very fabric and intimate details of the subject's existence and life. Okay, but they don't use any case law. Y'all notice that? You see what they quote here is just opposition five uh, and seven. But if you will remember, okay, Lisa's saying something. This particular judge will have them go all the way. We will have a lot to read and watch in the next year to come. James is making it clear he won't back down. This is uh, That is the worst part. Yep. A declaration from her is warranted. Oh, wait, someone asked about a def- declaration. Jen o- oh, Jen O'Neill, 89. Lisa, would Sam Ingham be able to submit a declaration supporting the prior opposition? Oh, good question. And Lisa says, Lisa says, yes, a declaration from her is warranted. Is that the same thing as an affidavit? Um, or is that a different thing? I'm not a probate expert. Y'all saw I was just Googling before this. <laughs> okay, so they say that um, sealing is improper here because probate proceedings are presum- presumptively open to the public. And if y'all remember, Sam Ingham not only cited a lot of case law, he had destroyed the three cases that they were relying on. That's very important in legal writing. You have to have, cite your source, same thing, right? You have to cite what you're relying on. You can't just claim laws in the public, you know, just in the public eye without any citation. But that's exactly what Gerald and Geraldine do here. This argument is surprising because it conflates a probate proceeding with a conservatorship, which addresses the very fabric and intimate details of the subject's existence and life. Well, I mean, that would be, um, you know, wonderful if they had a, a string citation after that or some kind of like, what do you mean, Geraldine and Gerald? Y'all just make this shit up? Y'all poets now? What do you mean? What are you, how are you going to cite that? They didn't say that. Like, all right, so Sam busted down y'all's three little cases y'all been wobbly ass relying on for the last decade plus, and now you don't have no cases to cite? You're just going to start shouting things into the public like that's supposed to mean something? It doesn't mean anything. It's just wasting Britney's money. This is a, 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 breach of fiduciary duty for filing such a frivolous and silly little filing. Okay. The motion to seal, which was Jamie's original motion, which is narrowly tailored to protect only the most private, sensitive, and statutorily protected information of Brittany and her minor children, which Sam already said in the opposition, her minor children have nothing to do with this. They say it's supported by facts and law. Okay, well, it would be great if we could see some law. It should be granted, so Brittany's private health information, sensitive information of a personal nature relating to Brittany and her minor children, trade secrets, proprietary information, as well as the privacy rights of third parties who have not sought access to the courts and whose information has no bearing on any substance, uh, substantive of the conservatorship. Okay, that's a typo. Y'all look stupid. Look, everybody laugh at how stupid they are. They went to school and took the bar exam and they used the wrong word. Okay. I, I misspell things every day. I'm just want to be an asshole. Okay, contained and irrelevant part related plea. Okay, so basically they told us what they're about to try to what they're about to try to um, convince us of. Okay, so their first section heading. Oh, let me read some of y'all's things. Do anything for money? What could they be trying to hide? I don't know. The opposition inaccurately portrays the history of sealing in this matter. Okay, so Brittany and Sam inaccurately describe the history. Okay, how? Most glaringly, they accuse Brittany of having 
Oh, sorry, that says Mr. Spears. They accuse Jamie of having aggressively used the sealing procedure over the years to minimize the amount of meaningful information made available to the public. Yeah, and another one. They can't even, they, look how sloppy they are. Instead of a period, they put this stupid forward slash. Y'all need to get some interns if y'all can't figure out how to type a sentence. Shit. This is filing in a court. This is going to be in newspaper. This might be in history books. And y'all got a forward slash instead of a period? That's amateur. You learned that in typing in first grade. Regrettably, Brittany and Sam appear to be a grandstand. Uh, or they're, they're grandstanding. Aimed at engendering a response or getting a rise, you know, from people who have no direct interest in the conservatorship. Okay. At the cost of Brittany's statutorily protected right to medical privacy and the privacy of her minor children. Again, they are not Britney Spears' lawyer. They are Britney Spears' money's lawyer. Anything that has to do with Britney Spears' privacy rights, it's not their responsibility to defend. It's Sam Ingham's job. It's Sam Ingham's job. And they're yelling across the table, charging $700 an hour each to tell Sam Ingham that they're going to do his job in front of the whole world. Come on. Okay. Until this summer, Ingham never opposed, and in fact, um, on behalf of his client, has almost always supported a motion to seal. So there, here they are again. This has nothing to do with anything. Like, okay, Sam did something in the past, so, hmm, stomps foot. Okay, baby, what does that have to do with where we are today? What does that have to do with anything? Like, wh well, in the past, okay, well, that's, that was in the past. Today is today. Okay. As Ms. Spears' counsel, you know, uh, Ingham, he has brought several motions himself. Oh, he even asked to seal some stuff. Yeah, maybe because the things they were deciding on that day wasn't who's going to handle Britney's money. Maybe it was like, I don't know, something to do with her medical information or her kids' information, which he already said has nothing to do with what they're going to be talking about. They're going to be picking between a semi-retired attorney who, to my knowledge, doesn't have any kind of accounting degrees or accounting, finance uh, qualifications, and a an whole ass billions of dollars wealth management firm. Okay. Like that's what they're going to be deciding between. And so maybe that's why Sam Ingham said it could be just be open to the public this time. I don't know. It's possible. Okay. As Brittany's counsel, he's brought motions himself and has made numerous oral uh, motions to close the courtroom. So in the past, he has closed the courtroom. So I don't really... So, again, that doesn't matter. I don't care. That was in the past. If we could just rely on one motion to get us through an entire case, we wouldn't have to keep filing motions since 2008, would we? Every hearing gets its own motions. I don't know, you know, probate uh, geniuses over there, Gerald and Geraldine. Further, as they admit, right, Brittany and um, Sam Ingham admit, virtually all of the current petition, except a single address of an unrelated party, and much of the prior pleadings are in the public file which include over 12 years of accountings, fee petitions, petitions involving the estate's investments, investment strategy. So they're saying like, oh, well, there's already a lot of, so this is another logical fallacy, right? They're saying, well, they already have a lot of information. They don't need any more. Okay, again, like, what does that have to do with anything? That's a lot. That's like a, what's it called? I don't even know what the names of these things are anymore, but it's like a straw man, right? Where you build something up just to shoot at or a red herring or something. It's like, you know, all look at all the information you all already have. That's enough. You don't need everything else. It's like, what does that have to do with anything? It is simply inaccurate for Sam and Brittany to claim that Brittany, it, um, sorry, I keep reading that as miss. Okay. It is inaccurate for Sam Ingham to claim that Jamie is trying to bootstrap anything by his motion to seal. Yeah, Sam Ingham did kind of like cue some of that in the last one. As in all prior motions, the motion to seal seek, seeks only to seal the minimum amount of information um, in the transcript or anything that will contain private information that relates or uh, to or reveals her private health and medical information, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Basically, they're, they're highlighting this or will contain because they're saying, yeah, well, we filed like a presumptive petition because just in case something really private does come out in the hearing, then, you know, there will be a motion there that we can seal it from that point. Like we can just, the judge can decide in a discretionary fashion to, you know, um, seal at that point. And they're, I guess they're kind of implying like if they don't do it right now, then they don't, they kind of lose the opportunity to do it. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, and again, they're trying to protect her attorney-client privilege, which 
which privilege lies between Sam and Britney. This has n- Britney Spears' attorney client privilege has nothing to do with Jamie Spears, nothing to do with her estate, nothing to do with anything. The only people who are allowed to be involved in an attorney and a client relationship are the attorney and the client, and that is it. The fact that they're even mentioning this in their reply is a little bit inappropriate. I don't think that they should be relying on this. Like, it's really elementary. Um, personal and private information, again, not their job. I mean, yeah, they have a duty as conservatives of her estate to make sure that her information is private, but they have no duty to her legally in this courtroom, like to protect her privacy rights like that, that, that isn't their job to my understanding as, as, uh, Brittany's temporary conservative, the person Jody holds a certain of Miss Spears personal powers, and she has not opposed the motion to seal again. I actually think, and Lisa, correct me if I'm wrong but i actually think like jody has nothing to do with it like what does jody have to do with anything like as miss spears temporary conservative the person jody hasn't filed a motion to see that would literally be like lynn spears filing a motion for britney's like law for her job like that's not her job that's her lawyer's job that's why she has a lawyer the opposition is not supported by evidence so now this is where he's about to say that britney spears's direct quote is uh Britney Spears' direct quote is an allegation. I'm reading some of y'all's quotes. Okay. Okay. So Sam and Britney improperly argue the merits of the underlying petition. And they do so without any evidentiary support. Okay. So evidentiary support means, well, y'all don't have any evidence. Okay. there You don't need evidence to oppose someone's motion to seal the record. This isn't a trial. Like, you know, like, like Sam's job is to argue for Britney's best interest and it's kind of his job to say what the best interest is. Like it's his job to make sure she's not being exploited by her conservatorship. And for the first time in 12 years, he finally did, he's finally started doing so in the last two weeks and now they want to get up and mad about it. So anything that we read about evidence, it doesn't matter. Like before we get into this, this evidence does not matter. It is immaterial. This is not, the evidentiary hearings are for when there's like some kind of, um, he said, she said, right? If there's some disagreement about what happened in the factual record, like, you know, a car accident. No, I was going 50 miles an hour. No, no, I saw him going 70. Okay, now we need an evidentiary hearing. Now we need to see if there was red light cameras. Now we need to see if anyone was around and there was eyewitnesses or someone took a Snapchat while they were going by, right? Like, that's why, why and when you would need evidence. You don't need, yeah, have her sign a declaration. A declaration is evidence, Lisa said. Also, exactly. It just is like, I feel like they're just, they're just reaching. The opposition does not include any admissible evidence. So what? Notwithstanding the allegations laced throughout the opposition that Miss Spears herself strongly believes it is consistent, not only with good public policy, that it is in her best interest. So a direct quote from his own client who he has attorney client privilege with is not an allegation. That is really weird. That is really weird that they're saying this. I've never seen such a weird thing in my whole six, six long years in the legal profession. That it's in her best interest to deny the motion to seal and that she is adamantly opposed to it. So Brittany's lawyer saying that she said she is opposed to something is an allegation, according to Jamie's lawyers. There's no declaration, like Lisa said, get her to file a declaration. There's no declaration by Miss Spears. I bet you he'll go and file a declaration. The only... Uh, the only purported support filed with the opposition is a page six article. Here comes the shade dated September 1st, which is inadmissible hearsay. Oh, they're so pressed about that. Oh my God. Exhibit A, our favorite. Oh, sorry. Let's see if I can focus it here. Our favorite exhibit. I wonder if they were waiting to see this document before they presented a declaration from Brittany. Oh, yeah, Leanne, maybe so. Maybe they were like, oh, let's draw them out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe so, yeah. Yeah, because they did uh, They did file a declaration with the Bessemer Trust petition. So it's not like they didn't know about declarations. Like, she signed one just, you know, a couple weeks, like a week and a half ago. Okay, so they, unconvincing, they unconvincingly argue that the motion to seal should be denied because the underlying petition concerns the estate and not the person. Once again, uh, they inaccurately draw a distinction between the conservatorship of the person and the conservatorship of the estate as if they were two independent entities, but they are not. Actually, I'm pretty sure they are. Lisa? 
Oh, Lisa said it, it may be too late for her to do a declaration, but she can testify on the 16th. Okay. Maybe it's too late to file a declaration. Dang it. Okay. Um, so again, like, yeah, Lisa, is it, is it true that the, the, (laughs) okay, underlying petition concerns the estate and not the person. Once again, the opposition inaccurately draws a distinction between the conservatorship of the person and the estate as if they were two independent entities, but they are not. I'm pretty sure they're two independent entities. One is the person and one is the person and one is the estate. I don't mean, I don't, I feel very gaslit right now. This is really weird. The conservatorship of the person and the state are inextricably entwined. Is that how you spell that? Um, as they are both conducted in the best interest of the conservatee. Okay, that doesn't make sense. They're inextricably entwined because they are both conducted in the best interest of the conservatee and involve issues that necessarily contain to the conservatee's medical atten- uh, condition, competence to manage her personal financial affairs, susceptibility to undue influence. None of that is important here. None of that is important here. This is just a useless sentence. The conservatorship of the person and the estate are inextricably intertwined. That's like saying, you know, a speeding ticket and a car accident are inextricably intertwined. Well, yeah, but there's like different things you have to prove to both of them. Like you, you can't, you, so what? Like, sh- I don't think that's right. I think they're mistaken here. And involve issues that necessarily pertain to medical condition, competence to manage finances and susceptibility to undue influence. But again, like, well, if Judge Penny follows her practice, she literally takes instruction from Sam. Perfect. I love that, Lisa. Yeah, I'm not worried about this, y'all. This is just more like gaslighting, triggering, and infuriating. I haven't seen anything compelling at all. And if anything, like, they're kind of embarrassing themselves. So, okay. Thank you, Author JJ. They can be interdependent, but they do not have to be, and it is situational. Um not necessarily grammatically correct here. I know. Yeah. It's like intertwined, right? I was thinking that too, uh, Miranda. So anyway, the conservatorship of the person in this, okay, where are we at here? Okay. So they're talking about her medical condition, competence to manage financial affairs and susceptibility to undue influence. But again, this hearing is about choosing between Andrew Wallet and Bessemer Trust. Nothing to do with medical condition, competence, nor undue influence susceptibility. They just wanted to throw shit in here to remind us that they think that Brittany's disabled. I digress. In fact, one of the issues in this case is going to be whether Spears has the sufficient capacity to form an intelligent preference in order to make an effective nomination of a conservator. Oh, foreshadowing. They're telling us they're going to deny Brittany's are they going to oppose Britney's nomination for Bessemer Trust because they're going to say that she does not have the sufficient capacity to form an intellect preference, which is bullshit, bullshit. But again, I'm glad Sam's at least on our team on this one. Um, contrary to Britney and Sam's claims, personal autonomy is not the issue into this mo- in this motion to seal. Ooh, y'all pissed yet? Here. Contrary, can you just see her stupid, ugly face saying this? Contrary to the opposition's claims, personal autonomy is not the issue in this two spaces motion to seal. Bitch, if you're going to be sassy, at least space your spaces out the right way. In fact, as the opposition states, this is a voluntary conservatorship. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's such a gaslighter. And Miss Spears can apply to the court at any time she wishes to terminate the conservatorship of either the person, the estate, or both. To date, she has not done so. Oh, what a bitch. (laughs) Okay, whatever. Okay, now their next heading is the motion to seal is not, oh, is supported by the facts and the law. Here they come with their bad case law again. As in all prior motions to seal in this manner, only the minimum amount is requested to be sealed. I don't believe you. Um, And they're saying, you know, will contain confidential information by comparison and contrary to the inflammatory allegations of Sam. Jamie did not seek to seal the petition for appointment, nor has he sought to wholesale seal petitions relating to his management of the estate assets, investment strategies, and structure. Y'all know they've been arguing about this, the investment strategies. Are y'all so mad? It's volu- Lisa said it's voluntary unless she wants to oppose James. Then she's incompetent. 
<laughs> exactly. It's voluntary and voluntary until she wants to oppose James. And then she's incompetent intellectually. Oh, I cannot stand these people. But again, y'all, this is more just like gaslighting and infuriating. It's really like legally, I don't, I wouldn't worry about this. Like I kind of think.